Hey guys, there's some hotfixes that came out on January 24th for 7.1.5 that I want to run over with you guys, specifically some changes to Elemental Shaman. I know you guys aren't going to like it, but I want to go over it so that you guys are aware that this was changed just yesterday. Starting at the top, the first and only two class changes are for Monk and Rogue. Now don't get excited, PvPers. It's not a Windwalker change. Zoen is still going to one-shot you and rip your face to pieces. But Essence Font Heal is now corrected. I guess there was something wrong about the crit heals from Essence Font, but now that's been corrected. So not a really a big playstyle change, probably just a correction. And then there was a problem with Shadow Dance where it was consuming a charge and not actually using the spell. So these are corrections to the patch release, really. Next thing Blizzard notes is the item level rewards you get for the different Mythic Pluses. This includes the Mythic Pluses from 13 to 15. They're just reiterating what item level gear you'll get from it. And also what item level gear you're going to get from the weekly chest from your class hall. And for you PvEers out there, there were a lot of items that were mentioned to be changed. These are all trinkets. And for the most part, the damage, the healing, and the absorptions all went up across the board. So to see that detailed list, go to the description. I've included a link to this post. Just see what happened to any of your trinkets and see if they benefited you. There's too many to go through here, so please just check out the link. Now into the PvP changes. Very interesting shifts lately in terms of updates from Blizzard from since the release of 7.1.5, which came out with a lot of class redesigns, and people were really excited, and then it came out, and then damage was outrageous. Healing really wasn't tuned, and damage was quite overtuned. So it's interesting to see what Blizzard's done since then. Hogman went over some of the you know, hot fixes that came into effect recently about stamina being increased across the board healing being tuned a little bit the da and damage being reduced across the board based on the uh, base stat reduction of five percent so it's pretty it's pretty interesting what blizzard's doing i agree that they it does seem like they are putting some focus on the pvp scene so i appreciate that but i'm not sure what they're what they're thinking across the board because there's a few areas that i think still need a little bit of tuning but as you're going to see, they, they changed some other things that I think are, is pretty strange. So starting with the first change listed on, on these hotfixes, Guardian Druids. Guardian Druids now have 5% less agility in PvP. Now, uh, maybe I just haven't run into a Guardian Druid, or maybe I'm just stupid, but uh, I'm not really sure... <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for the Guardian Druids. Maybe they were having a heyday. But uh, yeah, they were reduced by 5%. The next change was the Survival Hunters decreasing their agility by 7.5, which is actually a lot. So my thinking is that I guess Blizzard thought that they overtuned Survival Hunters a lot. I know that a lot of people were excited about the changes that were coming to Survival Hunters, especially you know making them viable in PvE again. Luckily, this is just a PvP change. Paladins were slightly tweaked specifically prop paladins so again another tank class which now has 5% less strength in pvp and there's also a healing change which now light of the protector or hand of the protector now heals for 35% less in pvp which was already pushed down from 15% less shadow priests have been seeing nothing but nerfs in 7.1.5 but this hot fix actually increases their damage a little bit vampiric touch now deals 10% less damage in pvp which was reduced by 25%, so this is a little bit of a, uh, a tuning up for Shadow Priest, which makes me a little bit happy. I know the Shadow Priest I was playing with actually was like taking a break from Shadow after they made the hotfix change uh, previously, so maybe he'll, he'll, he'll play with me again <laughs> instead of playing Rogue. And then last, last but not least, the Shaman changes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sh Ice Fury has been brought down. Ice Fury, uh, kind of in multiple ways, has been nerfed a little bit with the nerf bat, which is pretty sad because it's definitely Elemental Shaman's big uh, big boom, as I'll, I'll say. So Ice Fury and Ice Fury Overload have been reduced by 35%. Now, for 7.1.5, the damage was increased significantly for the actual damage of Ice Fury. Now, I'm not talking the Frost Shocks, I'm talking Ice Fury. I'm surprised they did this to Elemental Shaman, especially since they have never really been top tier in PvP, and now they were really having a heyday in terms of very competitive comps. I'm surprised that this isn't a type of change that they would make to a DK or to a Windwalker Monk or to one of these melee mongoloids that I've been talking about for so long. So it's definitely surprising. So then the second change is increases the damage of 
frost shock by 300%. This is down from 400%. So this is reducing the frost shock damage that you're getting from those four frost shocks that you get. I really would have liked to see Blizzard make a different type of change here for Ice Fury, even if it was reduce the damage by a little bit, but only make three frost shocks instead of four. I would have liked to see that a lot more. But uh, in this case, we just kind of got the nerf bat on Ice Fury, which is really sad. Let me know what you guys think about this change in the comment. If you're an Elemental Shaman, please, I want to know how you feel about it. Elemental Blast has been reduced in PvP by 15%. That's that's pretty huge, and you know? it was really just in 7.1.5 that Elemental Blast became viable. So it's a little interesting to me that they're nerfing another, you know, you're selecting this talent, you're getting another long cast. Um, it's, it makes me a little sad that they just made this a viable spec, and now they're kind of taking the knees out from under it. And it's interesting because we were just talking about this in the comments of one of my other videos. I think Elemental Primalist is going to see a lot more play now because of this change. Reducing the damage of a, an ability you have to cast over possibly more procs of Lava Burst and or possibly an increased Elemental. I don't, I don't know now. It just makes me, it makes it very hard for me to select Elemental Blast. Next change was damage to pets and guardians no longer affect the lightning rod damage in arenas and battlegrounds. Oh man, that makes me really sad. I know that lightning rod procs against warlocks hunters, where you get the uh, lightning rod proc on the player and then you start chain lightning and all the pets get procced with our artifact trait, and then it's huge damage on the player. It makes me sad to see this happen, but. I understand it's a little cheese, but at least it's a way to counter, or it was a way to counter people that have a ton of pets and guardians out. And that's to change the elemental. I mean, I'm not sure how elemental is going to play now or if it's going to be as viable as in as many comps just because of these types of big nerfs to the damage. I mean, these are the heavy hitters that we have, and so it makes me a little sad to see that for shamans. And then the last change for enhancement is Wind Fury can not, no longer be activated by Wind Fury totems wind fury now say that 10 times fast i was reading some posts that that's just what they repeated over and over it was pretty funny so i'm assuming that this means that you can, a proc of wind fury can't proc another wind fury i think they might be trying to reduce the rng chance of the 100 to 0 in two seconds that enhance currently has had for quite some time i'm not exactly sure about this change and what it means there's a lot of wind fury wind furying wind furies wind fury so uh, i'm not 100 percent sure on this and i was trying to do some research but i couldn't find something conclusive so let me know in the comments if you're aware of this change just so everyone else can know thanks guys for watching let me know what you guys think of these changes do you think these changes that blizzard's making is putting pvp in the right direction after the 7.1.5 kind of i won't say hiccup but I'd like to know what you guys think, definitely interested, especially with the state of the game right now being a little bit in flux right before this huge patch of 7.2 that's going to be coming out, bringing us to a new world, going to be bringing some big changes to PvP hopefully. And guys, let me know if you guys like these updates based on these hotfixes, these patch notes, giving you kind of a quicker dose of what these changes are instead of you know necessarily being on top of it yourself and you know i'd be happy to do this more often if it's helpful for you guys so let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video